Welcome, Citizen Graham. Outdated U-chip firmware detected. Firmware must be updated to use Union City facilities. I was about to return to give Ember a piece of my mind when... Transporting you to the nearest safety services. Stalkers had come into the city, but looking around, that didn't make any sense. This place was a paradise compared to the Union City I'd left all those years ago. Joey had certainly turned the place around. I had to find the Stalkers, and whoever he was, Graham was my only lead. I just had to sort out my U-chip problems first. I trust you are well on this fine day. Actually... Aha! Uh -huh. Have you tried Dijon buttercream spankles? It's new. Sounds delightful. That's the spirit. Now, Mr. Grundy, we both know why you're here, don't we? Uh... I guess we do. Your firmware. It's ridiculously out of date. Let's get you sorted then, shall we? Go on. Place your hand on the platform. Okay, here goes. Well, that's very strange. Morning! What's very strange? What's very strange? You said that's very strange a moment ago. Something about my data. I didn't. You said, what's very strange? I only said it because you said that's very strange. Great. What else can I do for you, Citizen Graham? There was something strange about the ID that I had acquired. While she may have lost the plot, I definitely hadn't. So is my firmware all up to date? It sure is, Citizen Graham. Now you can get back to being a top-notch citizen again. I see you have two weeks of public voting to catch up on. Better find a terminal and hop to it. Listen, I don't know if you'll be able to help on this. I'm here to help. Okay. I'm looking for a child that went missing two days ago. And from which part of the city did this child go missing? He was from outside the city. I can only help you locate citizens. I'm looking for a child named Milo. Accessing citizen database. He is not a citizen. Is he an animal? No, I told you, he's a child. Because Milo is a very common name for pets. That fact does not help me. I can only help you locate citizens. I need to find a missing child. 
Does it need to be missing? What? It's much easier to find a non-missing child. If he wasn't missing, I wouldn't need to find him, would I? But if I'd found him, then he wouldn't be missing, would he? His name is... Good news. While we were chatting, I checked our records and there are no missing children in Union City. What was the firmware update for? Well, Mr. Grundy, your U-chip appears to be quite an outdated model. It still had the original firmware from the early iterations of the Council's U-chip program. Frankly, I'm surprised you got by for so long. I've lived a simple life. You poor thing. Can you tell me everything you know about Joey? Joey was pivotal in the restructuring of Union City, and we will always remember him fondly. If you would like to learn more about Joey's role in the rebirth of Union City, why don't you visit the Museum of New History? Is there anything else I can help you with? Thank you. Was I helpful? Yes. Would you like to fill out a survey? Yeah. Why not? Excellent. Question one of 100. Are you satisfied? Whoops. Gotta go. Now that I dealt with my U-chip problem, I needed to find out more about my new identity. Graham Grundy. I was enjoying my time in the piazza, but I doubted I'd learn much about Graham here. wasn't open yet. I'd have to come back later. has been requested. Please wait for embarkation. Welcome, Citizen Graham. Where would you like to go? I knew Graham had some sort of connection to Milo's kidnapping. His home would be my best, in fact, my only lead. Take me to Graham, my home. Lakeview Apartments. Certainly, Citizen Graham. The city knew a lot more about Graham than I did. As I arrived masquerading as a dead man called Graham, I was apprehensive about what I would... But I had no choice. I had to find the stalker. And whoever he was, Graham was my only lead. The seal on the floor showed my buddy Joey just as I remembered him, when I left him in charge all those years ago. Hey, buddy, watch where you're standing. What's your problem? Your face, for one. Excuse me. <laughs> well, if you hadn't been staring at the floor like a moron, you'd have seen me. I didn't catch your name. I'm your mama. <laughs> what? Do you live here? Do I look like I live here? I'm not from around here. Maybe everyone here looks like you. Yeah, and what do I look like? Trouble. Keep walking. Do you know where I can find Joey? Oh, I don't know. 
weirdo. They say he walked into the gap, or sailed across the sea. Either way, he abandoned us all in this place. You don't like it here? Needs more color, wouldn't you agree? Do you know a guy called Graham Grundy? Nope. Sounds like a moron. In that case, let me introduce myself. Graham Grundy. Doesn't surprise me. Seriously, I'd like to know your name. Seriously, go find a friend. What happened after Joey left? Well, duh. Council runs the city now. I'll leave you to... whatever it was you were doing. Aw, really? I miss you. Yes, I'm... very busy. Hey, Dirtbag! What's your favorite color? Huh? You heard me. What's your favorite color? Green? Green? Green is not a creative color. Later, man purse. Later, uh... Backpack. Ha! You got nothing! Clearly not everyone in Union City was quite as courteous as they were happy. Calling the already present elevator did nothing. No surprise there. Day, huh? I shall inform Madam and her guest that you have arrived. She will be so pleased. No, no, that won't be necessary. She will be overjoyed that you have finally returned to the bosom of the family. My apologies for the interruption, Madam Songbird. It's Master Graham. What about him, Chipworth? It appears he has arrived home, madam. He has, but that's... Wonderful! Oh, thank Joey! My dear husband is back! Ah, I was hoping to meet you, Mr. Grundy. Mentor Alonzo, Ministry of Wellbeing. I was just here to investigate some irregularities. I'm sure my Graham needs a few moments to freshen up. Why don't I show you my kudos records? I don't know who you are, but right now we're both in a lot of trouble. So for both our sakes, you'd better convince the Mentor that you're Graham. Um, yes, of course. I'll stall him. Just don't come through that door until you know enough about Graham to pass yourself off as him. Don't worry. You can count on me. I wasn't sure what I'd walked into. But if I was to convince anyone I was Graham, I needed to find out more about him. His job, his family, his state of mind. The mentor could ask me about anything. Information about Graham was scattered all over the place. All I had to do was look around. The trees in the gap weren't as pretty, but at least they were real. Something told me the fire was not authentic. Excuse me, please. Definitely an improvement on the food dispensers they used to have here. Union City Red. I suspected it was more fruit juice than wine. At least one person in the city appreciated a nice cup of coffee, although I doubted Union City Blend contained even an ounce of actual coffee beans. A 
shelf full of sports gear and awards from years gone by. Rhythmic gymnastics first place. Amethyst or purple glass? Either way, it looked expensive. I was hit by the acrid smell of chemicals. The box was for a deluxe hollow plinth replacement lens. There was nothing inside. A sword? The blade was cracked. Giant scorpions in the sewers, real or fake? <laughs> Unlikely. The tentacle monsters would have eaten them years ago. Printer? It was rare to see one of those. You can tell a lot about a man from his shoes. In this case, that the man had no taste. Giant scorpions in the sewers, real or fake? <laughs> Unlikely. The tentacle monsters would have eaten them years ago. After 10 years in the gap, I'd almost forgotten what a toilet looked like. Welcome back, Graham. Displaying your health chart now. It has been two weeks since your last checkup. You have lost weight. Congratulations. It has been noted that your height has increased. Adjusting records accordingly. Scanning for medical implants. Error. Implant missing. Refreshing biomodification database. Please wait. Removing cardiac implant registration. Registering Shreveman port as new implant. The scanner had detected my Shreveman port, which allowed me to interact with Link, the city's old network. Since then, I'd pretty much forgotten about it. Adjusting your health rating from C to A+. I was considerably fitter than Graham. That was good to know. What devices do I have installed? You possess a U-chip personal data implant in the perlicue of your right hand. It is functioning correctly. Your cardiac regulator implants have been marked as removed. Please return them to your nearest medical waste facility. You possess a Shreveman local interneural connection port in the third cervical vertebrae. This hardware predates the Minos system and cannot be accessed at this terminal. That's probably for the best. You are welcome, Citizen Graham. Give me a checkup. Scanning. Your physical health is within the top percentile for a Union citizen. Congratulations. Thanks. You are welcome, Citizen Graham. Do you have any advice for me? A single can of Spankles contains more than your daily dietary requirements. Look for the clown. Drink Spankles. Keep a smile on your face. Thanks. You are welcome, Citizen Graham. That's all for now. Due to the alteration of your physical parameters, a new uniform has been ordered and will arrive at your home shortly. Keep a smile on your face. I was a lot healthier than Graham. In fact, I'd say Graham was downright unhealthy. I had made some headway, but I still needed to know about Graham's work and social standing. Tempting, but I'd already had my monthly bath.
I knew about Graham's health, but I still needed to find out about his work and social standing. Perhaps I'd find more on his personal terminal. I needed to find out more information if I wanted to avoid getting caught out. The trees in the gap weren't as pretty, but at least they were real. Definitely an improvement on the food dispensers they used to have here. Espionage during the Hobart Wars. Nice to see the propaganda was still around. How to survive a war? Better just to not be around to see them. about Graham's work to answer questions about it. I needed to find out more information if I wanted to avoid getting caught out. calendar showed today as a holiday, Aspiration Day. So Graham was a cleaning supervisor? The logo on the uniform was quite distinct. From the color of his uniform, it was clear that Graham worked for the Ministry of Comfort. I had learned all I was going to from Graham's apartment. I hoped it would be enough. If I was going to convince the mentor, I had to be sure I knew enough about Graham. I couldn't keep them waiting any longer. From that point on, I had to be Graham Grundy, cleaning supervisor. Darling, I thought you were going to freshen up. I was, but I missed the sweet sound of your voice. Oh, Graham, always the romantic. 
But please don't kiss me until you've showered. Wouldn't dream of it. Besides, I couldn't let Alfonso hear. Alonso? Monopolize my lovely wife for a moment longer. In which case, shall we begin? Of course. Shall we take a seat in the lounge? It was now or never. So, Mr. Grundy. Mentor Alonso, what would you like to know? Ah, oh, well, straight to the point. I like that. As I was explaining to your dear wife earlier, there have been some issues with your activity records of late. Issues? What do you mean? Mr. Grundy, a word to the wise. This will be much smoother if you leave the questions to me. Now, whilst your records load, remind me in which ministry are you employed? Comfort. I'm a cleaning supervisor. Yes, of course. Ah, here we go. Graham Grundy, 42, cleaning supervisor with the Ministry of Comfort. Cleaning supervisors require Class C exertive activity certification. I trust that your health rating is sufficient. I did drop down a bit, but I'm back to Class A plus now. Excellent, excellent. Very good. So, with that in mind, I will mark you as fit for work, barring any other issues. Now, obviously, your kudos level will have fluctuated due to your absence. You're a C plus right now. I note you used to be much higher. B. Yes, well, you'll be back up there in no time. Well, that is all I need to check off. But I'd be remiss if I didn't offer you all the extra support and guidance that you need. Mentor? When someone goes off grid, there's usually some underlying trouble. And as a mentor, I like to think of myself as a bit of a troubleshooter. Of course. I appreciate the concern. So, let's get to the bottom of all this confusion. Dig a bit deeper, eh? Deeper? Yes, right. By all means, Mentor. Tell me about your workplace. I trust there are no issues. The land train facility? It's a fine place to work. I'm sure it is. Department of Land Trains and Extra City Commerce. Wonderful. Oh, yes. Couldn't be happier. We are, of course, very grateful for your service, Mr. Grundy. But there we come to the crux of the matter. Your absence. Fifteen days is a, a long time. This is, of course, why my ministry has become involved in your case. We have been concerned for your well-being. I'm fine. Better than ever, in fact. <laughs> Excellent. Now, speaking of your health, I note you had some surgery last year. Tell me about your implants. Are they working effectively? You mean my heart regulators? Nothing to worry about. As you can see, the beat goes on. Yes. Well, I must say you're in remarkable shape considering your medical history. Of course, your mental well-being is just as important to us. How are you getting on with your <laughs> rather peculiar hobbies? You mean my photography? I do, yes. You can't beat the feeling of an old-time film camera. I can imagine. You have an eye for composition. Although I don't understand your interest in using such archaic technology. Choosing to fiddle with knobs rather than availing of ministry-recommended filters, stabilization, automatic archive, and data retrieval, all courtesy of Minos. If we can't see what you create, how can we share in your interests? 
What can I say? I like a challenge. I'm sure you do, Graham. Ah, well. I have a busy day of appointments, so sadly we must conclude our little trap there. It's been a pleasure, Mentor. <laughs> Hasn't it? So with that in mind, perhaps you can tell me where you've been for the last two weeks. What? Right. Yes, where have I been the last two weeks? Well? Okay, so... the last two weeks. I was working at the land train facility, of course. Cleaning. I'm a cleaning supervisor. And while I was cleaning, I must have... bumped my head. The next thing I knew, I was in the middle of nowhere, still on the train. Two weeks later, the train returned to the city. Cleaner than it's ever been, I might add. My poor darling! How awful! What a dreadful thing to happen! I believe I have all the answers I need from you. Well, that's a relief. <laughs> I'm sure it is, Mr. Grundy. Well, thank you for stopping by. Uh, j just a teeny tiny thing before I go. There appears to be one or two anomalous results here. Anomalous? That doesn't sound good. <laughs> it may be nothing. But here's the thing. I get strange readings when I scan your U-chip. Any idea why? Maybe it got damaged when I fell. Ah, yes. Of course. That's probably it. You see, the only other time I've seen anything like this is when a U-chip has been tampered with. No one would have done that now, would they? Tampered with? I didn't even know that you could do that. Graham's a supervisor, not a subversive mentor. Yes, a supervisor, not a subversive. Damaged when he fell. Request analysis. There, perfect. I have everything I need. Great. Chipbot will show you out. Chipworth, darling? <laughs> Just my little joke. Chipworth. Good day, Mr. and Mrs. Grundy. I don't know who you are, or what you've done with Graham, but I think we got away with that. I hope so. I don't think that we would get away with it a second time. Nor do I. If there is anything wrong with Graham's U-chip, you would better sort it out sharpish, before Alonzo's analysis comes back. Who even are you? Where's Graham? Are you that contact he kept ranting about? Whatever Graham had been up to, it had gotten him killed. I had to come clean with his wife. There's no easy way to say this, but I'm afraid Graham is dead. What? How? Where? I found him. In the Gap. The Gap? What was the idiot doing in the Gap? Was that where he was always sneaking off to? Ugh. A child, Milo, was abducted from a village out there and brought into Union City. And I think Graham was somehow connected. Sure, and pigs fly. Listen, stranger, I'm sure you can understand this has been a rather harrowing day. This is all too much for me right now. Tell me about it. So I'm gonna do some damage control on social media. In the meantime, I guess that officially it is your home, so you can stay, but this is my bedroom and that one is yours. No cute ideas. Understood. Songbird seemed rattled by the news. Not surprising. But whoever this contact of Graham's was, I suspected they were the key to finding Milo. 